This is a scene that misled others. A man is kneeling beside a fallen girl, taking off her belt. He is kissing her. A woman seeing this rushes away. Not long after, he is caught. Not long after, he is found guilty of rape and murder. No one considers that he is trying to help the girl. No one care that he just has an IQ of a six years old boy. This is an injustice case of the century. Has been filmed into a movie that grabs the tears of millions of viewers. That is the famous movie titled, Miracle in Cell No. 7. The main character named Lee Yang Go, although he has a disability, he is more honest than anyone. Yang Go loves his daughter too much. After his arrest, the police takes advantage of his desire to quickly go home to his daughter, tricking him into confessing, then he could go home, so he pleaded guilty. During the first trial, he is sentenced to death. He is imprisoned in cell 7. As soon as he enters the prison, the chief hears of his crime. He says nothing but beats him. In the cell, there are five people. There are scammers, kidnappers, and murderers. And the boss in the room is the gangster. They see a problem with Yang Go's mind, so they take out his verdict. Just seeing such cruelty, they hit him again. Since then, Yang Go has been bullied and isolated every day. He could only sit in the corner, writing his daughter's name on the ground with a pen. On that day, he notices a strange person. He is sharpening a toothbrush, making it sharper. Then he gives the boss of his room. His face shows a sinister expression, looking at another person in the distance. Yang Go turns to look. Isn't that the boss from cell 7? On this side, under the courage of the group, he is walking towards the big brother about to stab him. When he is running, Yang Go comes to protect the boss. He is stabbed and injured. The boss immediately rushes to beat the other person down, until the guards come. After that Yang Go returns to the cell high stomach bandage is still bleeding. Boss says you protected Mei will definitely repay. What do you want? It turns out that this big brother is a god in hell. He can bring everything into the prison. He will take advantage of playing soccer in prison. Pretends to put it outside. Then there is another ball coming. In the new ball there are many banned items. But Yang Go's answer makes him difficult. He wants to meet his daughter, so difficult. But the big brother is always keeping his words. Very soon he plans to institute a baptismal ceremony, inviting a crowd of people to sing and dance. There are also children and among them will be Yang Go's daughter. Not long after Thatch is quietly taken away, put in a cardboard box taken to cell 7. The inmates opens the cardboard box and inside there is a lovely baby. The little girl sits up everyone are warmly welcoming. The little girl looks everywhere and discovers her father sitting in the corner. The father also hurriedly crawls to hug his daughter tightly. The little girl is crying while hitting the father reprimanded. The mentally retarded father keeps apologizing but he is really innocent. They are crying louder. One of the others could not help it anymore he is afraid of being found out the punishment will be increased. Hurry to find the prison guard to confess. The little girl begs him not to do this and the other criminal stops him as well. But the guard is coming. The little girl runs to the front door and sits down. The guard doesn't see her. When he is about to save little girl takes his hand and cries. He is touched. After a while he changes. The danger passes. The little girl comes back to her father. She understands that they shouldn't make noise. Everyone is so surprised. A man with a disability can give birth to this cute, agile daughter. People give her their milk. The little asks why her father is here, and is he a bad guy? <laughs> Everyone is embarrassed. Following an unlucky thing happens, the choir to the performance prison leaves earlier. She can't go out. Then, she lives in the cell number 7. The father and his daughter are so happy. Two people have to think how to hide the girl. The other three people think how to let her go out. But she also brings laughs to the cell. The cell used to be cold, and because of the little girl's existence, it becomes warmer and happier. The fierce uncles suddenly turn into fathers. Extremely pampering her. But those days are not long. During a sudden check, the girl is arrested by the chief on the spot. The chief is furious, pulling Yang Go out. On the way, Yang Go always talks the rain is too heavy, the girl will get sick. He is angrier. <laughs> he is hit again. As punishment, Yang Go is locked in a dark room, and girl is taken out. After a while of rumors, the news of someone entering the prison is revealed. An inmate takes that excuse to cause trouble. He steals a can of gas and burns a fire, threatening to burn the whole prison. The chief is only able to confront him personally. The fire is bigger. He is crazy denying to go out. Because the chief wants to save him, he must goes in. Yang Go is on his way and seeing that. The chief inside has suffocated. He also wants to save him, NSO he goes in. After that, the chief wakes up in the hospital. The doctor tells him, despite the danger, Yang Go goes in to save him. The chief watches the injured Yang Go besides him, starting to suspect. He decides to repay, letting him meet his daughter. Seeing the father and daughter meeting each other, they cannot separate through the glass. Also when Yang Go is taken away, his daughter's painful expression. 
The chief begins to change his outlook on Yang Go. How could a criminal carrying such a crime radiate the breath of love like that? Later the chief hears that she is sick, remembers her father so she did not eat or drink. He comes to visit the little girl, and she tells him. He can't answer, so he leaves. That day, a carton is taken to cell 7. A lovely little girl jumps out from the inside, the daughter of an inmate with a disability. He immediately embraces his daughter, crying and laughing. The guard standing by says that the chief arranged. It turns out that the cold chief has a warm heart. Later, Yang Go comes to give thanks. The chief asks him why he killed that girl? Yang Go's retarded cannot say anything. Yes, he has a retardation. He could not say any kind of excuse for himself. The chief begins investigating the case again, finding documents at that time, discovering a letter of confession from Yang Go. Then, there is a suspect. How can a man with IQ of an only six-year-old boy write his own confession letter? In the prison, Yang Go's roommate also begins investigating the case. Thanks to the clues, they recreate the scene, gradually clarify the truth. The little victim, that day, was walking in the cold of 18 degrees. She fell. Because of the backpack, the little girl's head hit the ground. The little girl died in an accident. So why did Yang Go take off the little girl's belt and put his mouth on her mouth? It turns out that this is the first aid method that Yang Go used to learn before. He is saving the girl. But that girl was the daughter of the chief of the police department. Due to the pressure, the police had to quickly break the sentence. So they made up an injustice case by themselves. The guard came to the director to ask him to reinvestigate the case. But at this time the director was completely irritated by the death of his daughter. Ignoring the truth, someone must die. The case is about to go to the final round of sessions. This is the last chance of Yang Go. Everyone in the room is afraid of Yang Go's mistake, especially write the testimony for him. He must learn by heart every day. Finally comes the day to open the trial. But no one expects that, before going to court, the director goes to Yang Go's room. Another beat. Then warn him, it's best to confess your guilt, otherwise he will cause his daughter to die like his. During the trial, Yang Go's eyes are as dull as usual, when the lawyer asks. <laughs> the people are angry again. Everyone want to beat him. The director stands up and says that Yang Go's mental state is not normal, but Yang Go repeats again. <laughs> Result is the same, keep the punishment. Later, everyone in the prison don't want Yang Go to accept such fate. All inmates in the prison get together to plan a prison escape. On a beautiful sunny afternoon, they poo. Ti Yang Go and his daughter on a hot air balloon. They bring all the wishes of everyone on the way. The chief smiles. The guards on the observation tower also laughs. Still waving goodbye to father and daughter. Unfortunately, the rope of the hot air balloon is caught in the wire mesh. This escape in the end still fails. The day of the execution is also the birthday of the daughter. The chief takes her to cell 7, so that she could see her father one last time. Everyone try to smile but silently wipe their tears. After celebrating his birthday, Yang Go and his daughter walk out of cell 7 with their hands. An iron door stops their footsteps, it is time to say goodbye. Dad and daughter hug each other one last time, they both smile. Finally the chief takes Yang Go away. At the crossroads, he happily shows a funny face to his daughter. Yang Go is gone, but just past the turn he falls to the ground. The daughter is still looking at the intersection, waiting for her father to suddenly jump out for her another time. But not this time. She counts it again, finally unable to hold back. It seems that Yang Go is awakened, he does not care, immediately runs back. Hugging her daughter cried loudly through the iron door. The man from start to finish does not cry once despite being beaten. When he realizes he could no longer see his daughter, he begs someone else for the first time. He says that he is wrong, NHE says sorry. The chief sheds tears, he can't save Yang Go. This world cannot save an angel. Later the chief considers the girl to be his own child and raises her. Years later, she becomes a lawyer. As expected of her father, she is upright and honest. She goes to find uncles in cell 7 that year. Everyone stand up to testify for Yang Go. Time and time again protect Yang Go. The girl is successful, Li Yang Go is sentenced to be innocent. In the end, the girl steps out of the prison. It's snowy. In her dream. She seems to see her father sitting in a hot air balloon. The world is always cold. But do not fear, we can remember those warm moments forever.